current king of basketball, LeBron James, might well be in the late autumn of an illustrious career, but fans need not worry that the King James moniker will die when his career ends, as there is a Prince James waiting in the wings to take dad's spot. Barani James, who stands 6 feet 3 inches, currently plays high school ball in LA. Today we're discussing when he can enter the NBA and draft, so stay tuned. Let's jump straight in and look at James Jr.'s prospects. LeBron's currently well in his 19th season in the NBA, and whilst he is showing no signs of age just yet, most people are well aware that he will soon be coming to the end of his career. Whilst James Sr. is still holding down the fort, his son, Bronny, a 17-year-old junior in high school, could soon be joining Pop on the NBA court. The younger James is making a name for himself as a shooting guard, and scouts up and down the country are excited at what might become a Prince James, as he is considered the 38th best prospect in the class of 2023. He's following in his father's footsteps, who himself was a high school ranked high school junior for nationally ranked Sierra Canyon. The team is profiled on IMDB TV's Top Class, where his old man recently discussed his prospects. LeBron said, I want him to get to the NBA. I want to be on the court with him. I think that would be an unbelievable moment. But would this be possible? We know James is still an absolute machine and is showing no signs of slowing down just yet. But will it be possible for the two James men to actually appear on the same court together? Maybe not on the same team, as that would take a massive stroke of luck. But it is probably more than possible for them to appear in the NBA against each other. So what would it take for father and son to appear in the NBA together? Well, let's do the math. Bronny is currently 17 years old, and to be eligible to play in the NBA, a player must be at least 19 years old during the calendar year when the draft takes place. Not only this, but the rules state that at least one year must have elapsed since the player's high school graduation. All this considered, it means James Jr. can enter the NBA draft in 2024 at the age of 20. But what will LeBron's status be by then? He'll be 40 by the time his son's eligible to play, but mm, that's nowhere near the oldest age someone's played in the NBA. Matt Hickey was 45 years and 363 days old when he made his last appearance in the NBA, but admittedly that was in the late 40s, a completely different era. But if anyone can do it, then surely, arguably, the game's greatest can. There's a scenario where LeBron's son could enter the 2023 draft the year before, but that would mean graduating high school a year early, meaning he would have to reclassify. After this, he would have to enroll in a prep school or enroll in a smaller non-NBA team for 2022-23. He could then enter the 2023 draft, which would mean he would be 19 years old, giving him a much stronger chance of playing alongside, or more likely, against dad. What do you make of Bronny James' chances of making it in the NBA? More LeBron news now, stay tuned. James was involved in a little bit of a tita tita with Desmond Bain on Sunday night in the late Lakers lost to the Memphis Grizzlies. The Tennessee team won 127 to 119 as the Lakers defense crumbled late on after an onslaught from the Memphis offense. Earlier in the evening, LeBron and 30th overall first pick, Bain, got into it as the two collided during a play. Bain appeared to press into James with his arm after being fouled, prompting the legendary Laker to complain about the reaction. This then prompted a foul mouth tirade from the 23-year-old Bain, which LeBron did not appreciate one little bit. James had to held back by teammates, but Bronny's dad didn't want to let the issue go. He directed some unsavory words of his own towards Bain, reminding the youngster just who he was up against, to show a little bit of respect. Even whilst he was throwing his free throw, he was still having a go at Bain, but the Grizzly had the last laugh as his team pulled off a solid comeback. James's form this season has been the one shining light in an otherwise disappointing season for the Lakers, and he bagged another 35 points against Memphis at the weekend. The Lakers will now travel to Sacramento to take on the Kings on Wednesday night, with James putting in another impressive performance the last time the two teams met. What do you make of the Lakers' season so far? More Grizzlies news now, stay with us. Currently on a franchise record-setting 10th consecutive NBA win, the Memphis Grizzlies are starting to make basketball aficionados sit up and take notice. Part of their scintillating form this season has been down the performances of 22-year-old point guard Jay Morant. The Grizzlies dominated the Lakers Sunday night and followed that up with another solid performance on Tuesday against the Golden State Warriors. Curry and company were beaten 116-108, meaning the 
a Tennessee team hasn't lost an NBA game since before Christmas, winning 20 of their last 24. These are eye-watering stats, and Taylor Jenkins can be rightly proud of what his team are doing at the moment and also the plaudits that are coming his way. The outfit are only two wins off the league best record of 31 wins set by the Phoenix Suns. But can the Grizzlies turn this form into a championship ring? This will all be down to whether or not Morant and company can keep up their form, but there's no reason right now why they can't fifth offensively and edging closer to the top 10 on defense. So if they can keep teams out, then they'll have proved their offense is good enough to win games all by themselves. Focus on shutting down Morant and their play just goes through Bain, whose current form has him creeping up the most improved player charts. They really have something this season and it'll be interesting to see how they finish up. What do you guys think? Josh Giddy joins us now. Stay tuned. 2021 was a huge year for Oklahoma Thunder's Australian rookie Josh Giddy, and 2022 is turning out to be something along similar lines for the 19-year-old shooting guard. The Thunder came up against the Washington Wizards earlier this week, but were ultimately beaten 122-118 to in a pretty close game. The shining light coming out of the game for the Thunder was another fantastic performance by Giddy. The youngster recorded 18 points, 2 triples, 6 rebounds, 8 assists, and 2 steals in just 36 minutes. Giddy's performance included more highlight reel passing, which drew comparisons to some of the greatest passers by analysts and fans alike. Current commentator Drew Gooden said, he's showing you everything now. This is the reason why he was drafted at number 6 in this past NBA draft. He's showing you what he's capable of doing at such a young age. He just turned 19 in October. Talk about him being the youngest player to record a triple-double right on pace. Giddy broke another record at the beginning of the month as he became the youngest player to score a triple-double beating LaMelo Ball's record. This kid seemingly has it all and has scouts up and down the country clamoring. He sits high on the list of players the biggest teams are interested in. So it's no surprise his name is on the lips of basketball fans the world over. What do you make of Giddy's performances this season? News from one of LeBron's old teams now stick around. The Cleveland Cavaliers have enjoyed a bit of a turnaround recently and integral to their success has been the influence of general manager Kobe Altman, part of the Cavs' front office for a decade now. Altman has been rewarded for his fine work this week with the franchise tying him down until the end of the 2027-28 season. Not only has he had his contract extended, but he's also received a promotion for all his hard work. His new title reads, President of Basketball Operations, which now means he can influence the team he's maneuvered into playoff contention even more from this point. Cavs chairman Dan Gilbert said today is a great day for the franchise and another step forward in realizing our vision that includes stability and leadership for the Cleveland Cavaliers. I have the utmost confidence in his ability and the culture he has established since taking over the basketball leadership role with our organization. I feel our organization is primed for sustainable and long-term success. That is no small part thing thanks to Kobe's efforts, determination, and talent. I look forward to what's ahead for Kobe and the Cavaliers. Well done, Kobe. As always, thanks for tuning in today, guys, and remember to swing by next time for some more fun and games. Also, why not do us a favor? Share this video with any basketball-loving friends you might have on your socials. Bye, guys.